Hey everyone, it's your Immortal Hellseeker back with another review, and today I'm reviewing the Star Wars Black Series Vintage Collection Boba Fett figure. Let's take a closer look at the back. Also, by the way, I will be doing this review one-handedly, as again, my tripod broke, so watch my uh, update video I posted yesterday if you're really curious. I did get a new dio, I'm gonna do a new video on that and all, so yeah, this is my new backdrop, I figured it'd be a lot easier doing it off a 4-inch figure first, and I also just picked this up. Alright, so here's the packaging on Boba Fett. Um, we have the blue sky card back, yellow there, Boba Fett, Star Wars Return of the Jedi. On the back, uh, I saw all of the newer figures, so that would be Leia, Boba Fett, The Child, and Grief Karga. I only picked up Boba Fett because I'm not really a TVC collector. On the box... Alright, let's take a closer look at the figure. Alright, so here's the figure. So, uh, definitely like this. I'm not a TVC guy by any means. I already said that. I am um, definitely not for me most of the time, but I'm just saying, I like this figure. Uh, so, uh, he only comes with, like, one accessory, which is his gun. Nice paint on that. I'm not going to make these multiple segments, by the way. I'm just going to do it all at once. And then you can remove his jetpack if you want. Looks nice. Uh, this is just going to be a quick little video, by the way. So, uh, bear with me. So, here is Boba Fett. Definitely a nice looking figure. I really like his paint apps. And it was one of the reasons why I picked this figure up. I love how he looks. He looks amazing. You get a cloth cape, which is really good to see. Uh, so for articulation, single-jointed elbows. Arms go about that far. Swivel. It looks like it's just a uh, dumbbell joint there. Uh, knees, single-jointed. Uh, it, it's got that sort of ball jointed type crotch joint kinda but they don't look like ball joints they look like you know legs but they're they work like a ball joint would and then they got usual foot articulation angle pivot all that again this isn't very easy to do one handed so I'm sorry hands move Alright, I'm going to do some comparisons with some uh, other 3.75 inch figures, uh, which again, I don't really have many uh, like right next to me, so bear with me. I have a lot more, but they're all in storage, so give me a second, uh, and here we go. Here is Boba Fett next to the Mattel DC Multiverse Arkham Knight and Deathstroke. Anyone remember this line? Some of my favorite four inch figures. And here he is next to a Joker from that same DC line and a four inch scale Cobra Viper. I believe that's what it is from G.I. Joe. And of course here he is next to a Boba Fett from the same film being Return of the Jedi. This is the SH Figure Arts Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. I do like this figure more, but I like that one a lot. <laughs> still waiting on getting the Hasbro Return of the Jedi um, Black Series one. I'm still waiting on getting that. Uh, I have that on pre-order. Here it's at now, so if I find it in stores, I'm probably going to just buy it in stores, but currently I have it on pre-order from Big Bag Toy Store, so hopefully they come through. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this video again. I know it was quick, but I wanted to get a new video out since I haven't really posted one recently. Um, I like this figure. I really don't have much to say about it. It's a decent figure. Don't love it. Don't hate it. Uh, TVC is not really my line, uh, but for the scale, I definitely really like this figure. I'm definitely really impressed by it, and, uh, I would be more inclined to pick up more TVC figures in the future. Fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't really get them to stand. That's one of my biggest gripes. Uh, I, my next video will be showing off my new diorama, so thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and, uh, please like and subscribe and share with your friends that are interested. Bye.